my dear brothers in Islam, the shaitan was cursed. He was thrown out of paradise, guaranteed hellfire for eternity and was given the curse of Allah Azzawajal for refusing one sajda. To who? To Adam, to a, to a man. What's going to happen to us who refuse to bow down to the Lord of the heavens and the earth? The shaitan cries every single time we go into sujood. He cries. That any Adam was ordered to make sujood and he made sujood. And I was ordered to make sujood and I refused. That watchman that the Prophet Sallallahu guaranteed whoever gets up while the, the, the Muslim army was going to war and they were, they were going to sleep that night. Who, who, who wants to get up and be a watch guard for the Muslims? So two men stood up. They go, we'll do it. One would do half the night and the other would do the other half. So this man got up on the cliff and he's watching over the Muslims and he begins to pray. He's standing there watching, so he started praying. He started praying and the, and the, the enemy came. And as they were approaching, he saw the man on the cliff and he knew this man would alert the Muslims. So they couldn't ambush them. So he grabbed the arrow and he shot him. And the arrow entered one part of his body and exited the other. And this man remained there standing praying. He did not want to leave his prayer. Look how important it was to him. He didn't want to leave his prayer. We took, we, took, we took some of the shababs a few weeks ago to skirmish. Skirmish paintball. Little paintball just hits you, it stings. You should see them run. And it's killing and they're rolling on the floor in pain. This man took an arrow in one part of his body and out the other and he didn't move. Another arrow, the second one, straight in one part out of the other. The third arrow, straight in one part out the other. And he would not leave his prayer. At the end, he left his prayer and he returned. As he was returning, he called the, the, the man who was supposed to take over his shift. So the man looked at him because he goes, why would you not pray? Why would you not leave the first shot you had taken? He said, by Allah, I was praying a prayer. And I was reading a surah that was so beautiful that I did not want to leave. I wanted to die as I was praying and reading that surah. And if it wasn't for my promise to the Prophet that I would guide the Muslims, I would have stayed in that prayer and died in that prayer. Look at the importance of salah in their lives. The man who wanted to get his leg chopped, what did he tell them? Chop it off while I'm in salah. You know how the narration goes? They done the whole operation. They chopped off his entire leg and he did not even grunt. He did not even grunt. Imam Bukhari anhu. Imam Bukhari, the one who the scholars claim that the most sahih, the most correct, the most authentic book after the Quran is Sahih Bukhari. Not a household doesn't have this book. How was his prayer? His students once narrated, you know what they narrated? They narrated that once he got up to pray. And as he finished his prayer, he gave salam, he felt something on his back. So he moved his adaya and they saw hundreds of, of beast things in his back. They go, what's that, ya imam? He goes, I don't know. He prayed his entire prayer, a whole hive or, or whatever of bees attacked him and he didn't even feel it. He didn't even know what had happened until after he finished his prayer. Is this, are this, is this our prayer? Is this how our prayer is? Ali radiallahu anhu, look at, look, why was he at such a great status? Very simple. One day he was praying and the house around him began to burn. He was in a house fire and people all gathered around and they saw him, he's still praying. And then they called out to him, Ya Ali, the house is burning, Ya Ali, the house is burning and he didn't listen. At the end of the prayer, he gave salam and he walked out. They go, Ya Ali, didn't you hear us calling out to you that the prayer is burnt, the, ho the house is burning? He replied, Do you, can you hear what you're praying? Can you actually hear others or th hear things while you're praying? He couldn't understand, how could that be? Is that the true value of salah in our lives? Seriously, do we have that khushur?